<laughs> Impossible meat. Um, the science project, man-made meat that bleeds like meat, looks like meat, but it's a plant-based so-called meat. Been sold in all of these restaurants and more. These are the ones I know, but it's a list of restaurants, and it's going to grow. But the impossible meat is being sold to us to eat. Um, just like they say, that growth hormone wasn't bad years ago. Now it is. You know, all this plant-based meat um, being sold everywhere. I'm not going to read everything. You know, um, you can pause this video, but this is the places that are served at Applebee's, Burger King, uh, all of these David Buster's, Hard Rock Cafe. You know, it's been sold on a lot of places. I mean, and we're being the guinea pig. Red Robins, you know, I didn't even see that at first. White Castle. I mean, White Castle burgers are already. Um, Burgers that run through you real fast, and now they gonna do science projects. But um, this is just a, and, and there's thousands of other places. Um, and this is what you need to know. It's a plant-based um burger. It looks good now. I mean, if I wouldn't knew about this impossible burger, it looked good. And like I said, I'm not gonna read all of this, but this is. You know, it ramped up in 2019. Nearly 5,000 um, nearby eateries beginning to serve this so-called plant-based meat. Um, they don't know uh, what the long-term effects of this meat is. It's just uh, a new thing that's being put on the public. And people are eating it, you know. You know, it's, it's made with some of these ingredients here, but it ain't made with no dairy, no egg, no fish, no peanut, no, no none of these other, no wheat, none of that. It's like uh, a lab based meat, you know, it's got a whole lot of stuff that we know about vegetarian, like soy and all that. But it's got, it got a whole lot of other things. Up. I don't taste soy burgers and they don't nearby taste like no meat. And so, um, even this reviewer says it's, it has a, a funny aftertaste of the last thing that I didn't notice. I didn't notice a slightly weird aftertaste. Now, what are the ingredients? You know, they got the regular thing we um, contribute with vegetarian meat water, soy, protein, you know, all of these other coconut oil and sunflower and oil and, you know, all of these natural flowers, they say, they say, is it a health risk? It is um, packed with important nutrients like iron and all of this uh, stuff that they say that is good for you, but uh, look at the last sentence, but however, it is important to note that the long-term effects of this man-made meat are still unknown. So they don't know what this man-made meat long-term effects is. Everything that look good ain't good for you. And so again, please subscribe and let me know, are you willing to be a science Project um, participant. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.